Lord. Oui, elle a des, elle a des dialogues des fois Chloé, mais c'est pas des dialogues pour le Lord, donc ça va. Elle dit que le sac est trop lourd, qu'elle est fatiguée de le porter. Go put my purse on the table before you forget. Ah, bah finalement, je pensais qu'elle dirait quelque chose, mais non. Haven't really felt like sitting down to eat since David started having dinner here. Chloe, I don't have all day. Would you get over here already? I should see what mom wants before she strokes out. Hey mom, you wanted to talk? When I send you a text message, Chloe, like last night, I need you to answer. You can just say text. You don't have to say message. And I need hey, you to answer without the snark. Je dis mes sœurs. Sorry, I hear you. Bah, I'll de la be jouer better about tranquille. replying. Thank you. Is that what you wanted to talk about? What is it with you and David? Always cutting to the chase. Why can't we just have some pleasant conversation before school? Are you selling your engagement ring? Chloe, jewelry gets appraised for all sorts of reasons. Like for insurance. Nice dodge. How about this? You don't go in my bedroom when I'm not there. Tu How about you don't ask me to get your damn purse then? <laughs> exactly. You do realize I hate your boyfriend with every fiber of my being, right? Chloe! You don't hate him. He calls me girly. He's a dickhole. He can be old-fashioned. Yeah, an old-fashioned dickhole. Ah, right. Rien School. My favorite. You used to love to learn. Yeah. I used to think drugs were lame too. <laughs> I wish you wouldn't joke like that. I thought you hated pot roast. You can have a no thank you helping. No, you hate pot roast. I don't care. I don't hate it. And David likes it. And don't say you don't care. So that's what we're doing now? Whatever your boyfriend likes? Let's not fight. I made you breakfast. Nah, I'll just grab something later. Oh, you'll enjoy this. The other day I made four eggs, two for David, two for me. And just before I served them, he says, what are you gonna eat? I'll enjoy that, huh? Tired, huh? That'll teach you to break curfew. What? I know what time you came home last night. And don't think you can get out of school just because you missed the bus again. Why would you assume that- Who do you think your principal calls when you skip? Do you think I enjoy lying for you, saying you're sick just so you don't get expelled? Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. But mom, the whole point of lowering expectations is so you won't be disappointed in me. Ever again. You're happy doing what you're doing? Fine. Keep at it. Just let me know so I can stop fighting with Blackwell to keep you on scholarship. Money's tight enough as it is. Peut-être que je devrais être ce que David devrait nous aider. Dans tous les cas, je sens qu'elle va répondre une connerie. Maybe David should start paying rent. He spends the night often enough. How would you know? You're never here yourself. David thinks you need discipline. David should mind his own business. I think it's great David's taking an interest. He's a good man. Maybe oui. he can help. C'est vraiment quelqu'un de bien. Dad was a good man. That's not fair. I'm glad. Your father still has a place in your heart. But sometimes we need to make more room in our hearts for new people. And sometimes, when we're incredibly desperate and lonely, we choose the absolute wrong kind of people to let into our hearts. Mom. David's had some hard times too, you know. If he's kind enough to share his experience, I expect you to listen. <laughs> like I'd let him get within 15 feet of me. When he takes you to school today. Very funny. 
You will be nice, you will be respectful, and you will say thank you. Are you serious? This is such what, Chloe? Such what? <sighs> Mom's trying, mère, la, la I mère guess. Aussi, pas la même double, Maybe I should too. But what's the point in getting along if it means pretending everything's fine when it's not? Ah. Très compréhensif, vous exprimez ce sentiment. Allez. You want me to pretend I'm okay with David? That everything's okay? I'm not. He's a chauvinistic piece of shit, frankly. Oh, and if your father could hear you. No, you're right. I'm sure dad and the mustache would get along great. It's a big bed. There's room enough for all three of you. Oh. Oh. That's enough. Oh, ça c'était tellement I'm méchant. For is a little respect. Why is that too much? I love you, Chloe. I miss you. Nobody could have replaced your father. I did the best I could. Mom. I don't know where I lost you. You didn't lose me. Right. David's waiting. He'll need the keys. They're in that ashtray you made me. Go be his problem now. Bringing David his keys is about the most humiliating thing Mom could ask me to do. No point in putting off the inevitable torture of driving to school with David. I'd better get going. Chloé, c'est Steve Gingrich. Salut. C'est ton DVD, tu peux passer le prendre avant les cours. Merci. What a piece of crap. The car, too. Why do you women always take forever to get ready? We're hoping you men will leave without us. <laughs> Oula, le petit no, claquement de doigts. I non, swear mais... he beat himself to death with a tire iron. Repeatedly. Le petit claquement de doigts qui fait pas plaisir. Electro insulator's probably cracked. You know what a spark plug does? Yes. It ignites Did you not hear me? I said I know what it does. Then go grab my socket wrench set from the garage, and we can get moving. On dirait que c'est un casque de doubleur complètement différent. What is différent. this? Quality time? Ugh. Better just get the socket wrench and get this over with. No. School's hardly worth walking to. Je voulais juste examiner le, le vélo. Does Max picture me pathetically checking this mailbox every two seconds for letters that never come? No love for Chloe. Nah, school's hardly worth walking. Je voulais monter dans le jardin. Bon, pas le droit de monter dans le jardin, visiblement. Mom should date literally anyone else. Where's the socket wrench set again? All I see in the garage is family stuff. You know, not your stuff. Dick around on your own time. It's in the toolbox. In the garage. You won't be late to school on my watch. Très bien. Wait, isn't that a socket wrench right there? Deaf or just lazy? You said you needed your socket wrench. That's the 5 8 inch. I need the 13 16 inch extension, which is in the set, which is in the garage, like I said. Unbelievable. Whatever. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, <laughs> fuck you. Tough 
tiniest penis in all of Arcadia Bay. Exagère quand même. Ah bah il est là le, la planche en bois. What's David doing, leaving stuff in our garage anyway? Does he think he's moving in or something? Ah, il a la planche en bois, elle est là. By toolbox, did David mean this, or did he mean himself? There's his stupid socket wrench set. Let's get the shit show over with. 50-50 chance I smash him in the face with this. 60-40. Maybe 90-10. Ouais, sauf qu'elle le fera pas. Ah, c'est ça le mur de prison. Garage, it gets my special treatment. What message does David really need to hear? Got it. Bricolage bâclé. Faire le taxe avec le diff 4 dans l'épisode 1, éveille-toi. Il manquera plus que le mur de prison. J'aurais fait la moitié. Je devrais remplir ça avec de gasoline, juste en cas que David's car ne se fasse en feu. Damn. Le stéréo a été dans Dad's workshop. Je devrais le mettre dans ma chambre avant que le garbage day le premier. Dad's old camera. Pfff. Ils ne font même pas de films pour ces anymore? J'ai la ref, c'est l'appareil photo qui servira pour. Finir les fils strange. Do these have chapters on hotwiring your mom's boyfriend's car so you can drive it off a cliff? Asking for a friend. <laughs> ah, je qu'il y a autre chose en haut. Uh oh, mom's been cleaning again. This was the photo mom took down from the living room. Guess we don't have room for it and David's mustache. David's lawnmower. Maybe mom and I like our lawn the way it is. Ever think of that? Dad's toolbox. He used to get so excited whenever anything sprung a leak or busted. Ah, pas d'interaction avec le, le grand, la grande planche et le dessin. A little more hustle wouldn't have killed you. Après, je pouvais lui parler, j'aurais peut-être dû lui parler avant. Bon, s'il n'y a pas des dialogues. Vous voyez ce qui se passe là C'est un signe de carbone. Non, c'est un signe. Vous savez, vous pouvez en fait être bon à ça. Si vous avez perdu l'attitude. Mon attitude est ce qui me fait spécial, David. Ok. Allez. Fine. Whatever. <rire> la main t'a vibré. David essaie de faire un effort. On... Ça va. Effort accepté. Hey, you're taking those tools with you, right? Every house needs a good toolbox. <sighs> We've already got one, but thanks. <rire> Et attention à ce que tu dis là par contre. Ready to roll. Please don't want to talk. Please don't want to talk. I want to talk to you about something. Fuck. We don't have to like each other, but you will respect me. You've enjoyed enough of a vacation from having a father figure. So there's some things I want to be real clear Oula. about. Respect him? I think it's time I show this asshole I'm not interested in anything he has to say. 
What's clear is fuck you. Language. You are way out of line, young lady. Language? Here, let me put that in a language you'll understand. Foxtrot. Uniform. You've got a smart mouth, don't you? Let me dumb it down for you. I mean, sorry. What has fewer syllables than dumb? Hey, watch your... I can crap bigger than you, got it? Can you just shoot me to put me out of my misery? Or yourself? Same reason? You'll break your mother's heart to hear you being so disrespectful. <laughs> At least she has a heart. All you have is... What's it called when you've got one porn stash and zero game? I was in the army. You will respect me. I don't remember enlisting, so don't treat me like your newest recruit. Look, now, in this house, I have my job to do, and so do you. Do I come to your place of employment and... Oh, that's right. You don't have one. If you were a man, it's I'd... It's cool. If you were a man, I wouldn't go so easy on you, either. <laughs> I <laughs> don't know why I bother trying. Mission accomplished. He did good. It's amusing. Country music. <laughs> Ah, elle rêve de son père. Dad loved this song. I just called to tell you that I miss you more than What a beautiful day. This... this isn't right. Ouais, I know what a spark plug ouais, does. Rêve. Jerkwad. If mom were here, she'd tell him to turn that junk off. Dad, turn it up. cauchemar c'était violent c'était vachement violent hey the hell out of the car chloe you're gonna be late Thanks. Don't use that sarcastic tone with me, young lady. I can see you rolling your eyes. Uh, hello? I was actually saying I thanks. see everything. Hmm. <laughs> I'll warn everything. Hello, Black Hell. Ça va être amusant, je sens. L'université. Enfin, elle a 16 ans, elle est au collège, pas l'université. Faut que son Blackwell fait tout. Il y a une scène. Hey, 
Chloe. Le sidekick, oh. donc. Hey, Elliot. I heard you had a hell of a night. I mean, people are talking about it. People can eat a dick. Even social media haters can't ruin how awesome last night was. So, how about the Tempest? Blackwell Theater at its most pretentious. Yeah, totally. I know it's gonna be lame, but I was thinking, do you want to go together tomorrow? I try to make it a rule not to go to school any more than I have to. Right, sitting in the back row making right? fun of the drama kids might not suck. Right? That's totally what I was thinking. All right. See you in camp. Yeah, for sure. Ah, lui, il aime bien, j'imagine. Le sidekick m'a un peu love interest. Gotta track down Steph to pick up my DVD. I've still got time to class. Rendre le DVD à Steph. Très bien. Mmh. Well, at least not for now. Nouveau, nouveau, Ciné Club Science Fiction, les mercredis 17h30. Découvrez la science fiction. Laissez-nous vous présenter des classiques. Vous voulez suggérer un film Contactez Warren ou Brooke. Le temps de drogue. How could I possibly make it through a day in this place without a little chemical assistance Les drogues, elles vont vous, elles vont vous bousiller. C'est vrai. Donc c'est Maybe mal. this play won't suck. Maybe. It's nice that Elliot always wants to do stuff with me. I just haven't been in the doing stuff mood lately. See you in class. Yeah, parce qu'il aurait des choses à dire. Il y a des trucs au sol, on peut pas voir ce que c'est. Ah L'ancien concierge. Ah, je peux pas monter. Sur une des tables de pique-nique avec Mickey, ainsi j'arrive à Mikey. Il s'appelle Skip, vraiment. Skip Matthews, Blackwell's finest. He's not so bad for a mall cop. J'imagine qu'il va lui arriver quelque hey, chose Skip. puisque David doit prendre sa place. Stopped any gang wars lately? Not today. I did ask Justin Williams' mom to move her Mercedes out of handicap parking. Badass. Yeah, you know how I roll. So I went to the mill last night. Cut Firewalk live. You went to the mill? Wait, you saw a firewalk? It was cool. Whoa, pretty wicked. I didn't know you were into music like that. What, like good music? <laughs> Preach it, sister. I'm in a band, actually. No shit. I won't. Really? We're called Pisshead. It's not a big deal. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying to get our demo out there, but it's hard. His head, huh? Would you maybe want to hear it? Our demo, I, I mean. Really? Yeah, okay. Great. Oh. Ah. Ah, ça va, là. Droit d'auteur, évidemment. Et on va pas aller plus loin parce que ça va faire trop de droit d'auteur. Qu'est-ce que tu penses C'était vraiment bien, man. Si Pisshead came on the radio, I'd turn that shit up. Oh, right on. Awesome, Chloe, thanks. Ah. La prof de la prof de science. Miss Grant, the least lame teacher at Blackwell. Wish she could get over the whole push me to succeed thing, though. Morning, Miss Grant. What do you think of this hypothesis? That you'll be in your seat by the time chemistry class begins today. 
Science is all about discovery, Miss Grant. Guess you'll have to wait and see. With all the change that's happening at Blackwell of late, I suppose I can appreciate your consistent wit, Chloe. What kind of change do you mean? Well, the Prescotts have made an extremely generous donation to the school, which is good. But instead of going to support more science and mathematics, it's all being dedicated to the arts. You don't think more money should be spent in the arts? It's not that exactly. I recently made the case that STEM programs should receive more support, but apparently our new donors disagree with me. Such is life, I suppose. Miss Grant actually seems sad. Maybe in another six months, a new donor will come along with money for, I don't know, more lasers. More lasers? Do we have any lasers? Sadly, no. That is sad. Okay. I prefer to wake and bake, but hey, to each their own. Bien de Blackwell, ne sautez pas le repas. Le plus important de la journée, ne cédez pas face au stress des examens. Bon plaisir. But fire so pretty. Prévention des incendies ensemble, on agit. What the fuck is that supposed to mean? Dites-nous la drogue. Gagner dopé, ce n'est pas gagné. C'est le meilleur moyen de finir dernier. Il y en a d'autres là. Évidemment, tout le monde fume au coin où on dit qu'il ne faut pas fumer. C'était fumé. Students at Blackwell have this herd instinct to glom up into little groups, like sheep. And if you just want to be alone, you get labeled like some dangerous outsider. Just like any other prison. Except now the prison follows you wherever you go, thanks to social media. I can't believe Rachel posted a photo of the two of us together last night. Am I still an outsider if I'm hanging out with Rachel Amber now? And what does it mean that hanging out was so awesome? Does that make me just the same as every other student here? Nah, fuck that. Très bien. C'est quoi le tag déjà Ah oui, trouver les personnages. Le mur de prison. Donc c'est sûrement sur un mur. I should probably be getting to class, but I just don't care. What was he? Did last night really happen? The internet says it did, but I still can't believe it. Rachel Amber. The drama star, honor student, popular princess of Blackwell. Swoops in like a Batman to save my ass and thrash to Firewalk. Either that was a dream, or my life just got a shit ton crazier. That's a bit late. Ah. Principal Wells. Hi. Miss Price, the sign clearly says do not walk on the stage. 
such disregard for your fellow students' efforts won't alleviate your record of major infractions. How many minor infractions in a major one? This is no joke, Miss Price. Who's joking? You've seen my math grades. Perhaps you will find me less amusing if I mention the various allegations I've been hearing about your drug use. You know Blackwell has a zero-tolerance policy. Do I have to initiate a search of your person in order to establish the veracity of these allegations, Miss Price? Yeah, I That's what I thought. I'll look forward to seeing you in my office after school today. How does that sound? No. Wells really has it out for me. I have to convince him it's in his best interest to back off. Actually, sir, I'm gonna go with no. Ah, so you're going to mouth off to me now, yes? And here I thought your well of witticisms had finally run dry. Oh, I get it. Because your name is Wells, right? You go around all day just hoping for an opportunity to make well references? This must be a big moment for you. Jokes, hmm. in my experience, that's how the guilty cover up their infractions. How did you become principal without learning the Constitution? The Fourth Amendment, no, the search and seizure? We are a private institution, and policy allows me to search all students on the premises. I wonder if the Prescotts mm. might reconsider their donation if Blackwell's principal is being sued for harassment. How do you know about the Prescott donation? Perhaps the better question you should be asking yourself is, what else do I know? I'm sure we uh, do not need to make so public an issue of your behavior today. But make no mistake, Miss Price, this is not over. Ooh, goody. I love cliffhangers. Funny, just a couple years ago, something like that would have scared the crap out of me. These days, I'm at, like, the collegiate level of not giving any fucks. Huh. Weirdly, that makes me interested in walking on the stage. Alors, qu'est-ce que ça peut être le mur de la prison? Ne the future needs excellence. The future is an asshole. Ah, Victoria. Lapin oh. bêche. Victoria Chase. I'd rather vomit razor blades than talk to her. Oh, Carrie Price! It's Chloe. Oh, right. I'm just teasing. People have been taking me so seriously since I won the Beacon's Young Artist Award for my photography. You don't say. Between that and the Vortex Club, it's hard to keep people from putting me up on a pedestal or personnage. But you know all about that. What with Rachel Amber? Même si elle se fait Am bait. I right? Wait. What about Rachel Amber? Rachel posted a slamming selfie of you two having the time of your lives. Do tell. <laughs> it was a pretty normal night for us. A little music, a little dancing, we murdered a guy. <laughs> you are so funny. Oh, seriously, though, I didn't realize you and Rachel were such BFFs. We're really not. Uh, so, what's she into? You know, what's her thing? Is it drugs? I'm not judging or anything. I figure if she's hanging out with you, she must be into some effed up shit. <laughs> you know? Seriously, I don't know why you're talking to me about Rachel. Oh, everybody loves her. Little Miss Perfect. So you're jealous of Rachel Amber. That's what's happening right now. Gotcha. Oh, God, I don't have time for this. I didn't even finish the chemistry assignment, and you're being you. Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, Victoria. I didn't mean to be rude. You know, I finished the assignment. Want some help? 
You? Help me? Of course. That last problem was hard, right? If I'm remembering correctly, the answer was fluorine, uranium, carbon, potassium, and uh, uranium again. Does that sound right? Perfect. Hey, thanks, Carrie. No problem. Le coup du cul au secours. Je pensais qu'elle allait balancer son devoir à l'eau en fait. This makes being high sound like a bad thing. Evan's work is actually pretty good. I'd never tell him that, of course. Feu de forêt, attention danger par Evan Harris. Samantha Myers, school wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Hey, Chloe. Hey, Samantha. What are you reading? Who's Afraid of Virginia Woolf? I read that last year in Mrs. Hoyda's English class. I didn't think you did homework. <laughs> Normally I don't, but the play was actually good. What did you like about it? The story is about how relationships only work if people are willing to lie to each other. I'm not sure if you're joking. Sorry, I'm a little slow sometimes. I'm a little bitchy sometimes, so it's cool. People always say that. But I think you're actually... Sorry, Chloe. No one says anything like that. I don't know what I'm actually talking about. I bet. Anxiety. I really didn't mean anything. Samantha Myers, school wallflower. She could give you a run for your money, Max. Ah, là, je crois que c'est l'objectif où je suis censé aller. I can tell Justin's wearing his eau de gange. Eau de gange. <laughs> hey, price check. Gotten in any good trouble lately? Hey, out of the blue question, what do you think of Rachel Amber? She is amazing. Uh, if you're into chicks that are hot, smart, and hot. <laughs> I mean, she helped me out a while back. I was failing algebra. Hard. I believe you. Check. After I bombed my midterm last fall, she tutored me for the rest of the semester. And then I crushed it. C plus. <laughs> last night, I scoped out this crazy party at the old mill up north. Kind of a DIY thing. Wow. No shit. I thought that place was like Matt Central. My cousin met this hooker there. Whatever. It was Ooh. cool. Okay. You wouldn't understand. All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. Chloe, what's the latest? All right. Guess I'll see you in class. Word. Ah bien. Ah, il y a des gens là-bas. Need my DVD from Steph. I bet she's nerding it up with Mikey somewhere. Chloe, I'd like to talk to you about wildfire awareness and prevention. Ah, Good morning to you too, Evan. Ah, Evan According to the Department of Forestry, over 90% of this season's fires were caused by humans. That's a record high and completely preventable. This is for college, right? I don't believe you actually care about this. My interest in fire prevention is completely sincere. Besides, I intend to get into college on the strength of my photography alone. Do you think Rachel Amber would be willing to pose for my portfolio? She's so artistic. I bet she would be a dream model. What do you think? I guess. Who says we should prevent fire? Fire is awesome. While I realize you're being purposefully obstructive, you raise a good point. 
Many parts of our local ecosystem benefit from fire. Knob cone pine cones, for example, which require temperatures above 350 degrees to open. Say knob hmm. cone again. No. No. I gotta run. Wait, one last thing. Will you sign my petition to have a fire safety assembly at school? Sure. I love assemblies. Some of the best naps of my life. Wow, thanks. I did not see that coming. You being, you know, interested in complicated issues, helping out with the public. Do you want me to change my mind? I... No. How seriously am I taking this right now? Okay. There you go. Just don't expect this to become a habit. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. Signé aujourd'hui, venez exercer vos droits démocratiques pour vous rassembler et discuter de l'importance de la prévention des incendies de forêt pour notre fragile écosystème. Proviseur couillu, Big Mac Megapool. Secours. What? Caring about important issues? Caring in general. Blackwell Academy, home of tomorrow's leaders. What's worse, a poser who cares about issues or no one caring at all? No, Chloe. Class is back the other way. Bon bah, le mur doit pas être là. Steph Gingrich and Mikey ah, Moore, Blackwell's premier indoor kids. Steph has created something of a business selling pirated DVDs to other students. If I had known the Celestial Avenger was bloodied, I would have totally given him my potion. It was a skill challenge. Potion wouldn't have worked. Skill challenge? It's part of the tabletop game we play. You wouldn't understand. I used to play with my friend Max. It's been a long time, though. Cool. Got my DVD. One Blade Runner. Director's cut coming right yeah. up. Sweet. Five bucks, right? Keep it. I'm just glad someone here appreciates the classics. You even asked for the director's cut, which took out the shitty voiceover and replaced it with a sweet dream sequence. Dream life over real life. That's my motto. Right on. Hey. Do you know if Rachel's a gamer? Rachel Amber? You're asking me? Didn't you two go out last night or was it just like a friend thing? Why do you want to know? <laughs> Steph has a crush. Chloe, you should join her game. Yeah, I don't have 50 hours right now. <laughs> Thanks though. We're at the end of the campaign, so it take like 20 minutes. What else have you got to do before class? Allez, je suis curieux de savoir ce qu'ils ont JDR. Game on, nerds. Here's a character sheet. You are an elf barbarian. <laughs> are you insulting me in some obscure nerd way? Think about it. An elf? Like skinny and kind of weird, but also a barbarian, so like really angry. In other words, Chloe Price. Wow, you two are a riot. All right, let's get started. You were both famous heroes oh, in the kingdom of Skyrim. Enfin, a once peaceful Skyrim. land, now laid to waste by the bloodthirsty raiders of the Black Well. Alone, you have fought your way through the raider camps, seeking their warlord leader, Durgaron, the Unscarred. As you enter the final camp, bloodied and weary, you see your fellow hero approaching from the opposite direction. I raise my staff to you and greet you. I am Elamoth, wizard of the Third Circle, foremost advisor to King Tiberius, and sworn defender of Avernon. Introduce your character. Y yeah, okay. Uh, I'm an elf barbarian named... Uh, 
Kalamastia. Kalamastia. Christo Vibro, putain, j'avais pas vu le même sur son t-shirt. Hold on. Elamon narrows his eyes at the elf in front of him and says, I am here to defeat Durgaron, the Unscarred. In the name of King Tiberius, what makes you think you are worthy to fight alongside me? I once stabbed a guy in the chest with a sword, and it went all the way through and killed the guy behind him too. True story. Shish <laughs> kebab. You stand at a three-way crossing. To your left, the raiders' training ground. To your right, their prison camp. Straight ahead, an enormous, ostentatious tent that could only belong to Durgaron, the Unscarred. Which way do you go? Straight ahead, right? We're supposed to kill the Dur dude. Elamon frowns. The raiders could have some good loot at the training ground, and surely it is our duty to free all those prisoners. Your choice, newbie. Where do you wish to go? Tant tu le chef de guerre, tant entraînement comme emprisonnement. Guess it's time to free some peeps. Let's go to the prison camp. Ah, plus de personnes. We will hold a field of standing iron cages, each imprisoning a human villager, calling out for you to free them. Only a small, elderly dragonkin is keeping watch. He notices you, and in terror, runs into one of the few empty cages and locks himself in. Ah, poor little guy. What's a dragonkin? Dragonkin are like little dragon people. They're assholes. I bet he has all the keys. Ah, okay. Hey, shitface! Get out of there! The dragonkin hops up and down, shaking his ring of keys at you. He shouts in a strange language. Whatever he's saying, probably isn't flattering. Got any useful spells in that robe of yours? Nothing that wouldn't blow up the cage and everything in it. That's a skill I have. Can I do that? I want the little bastard to shit his pants. You can try. What do you say? Listen up, you little lizard. Unfortunately, he doesn't speak common. Which means he can't I cast communication on the dragonkin. Shit. Really? Ooh. Now he can understand every word you say. Time to work some real magic. So this is called a skill challenge, where you try to use... Oh, I know what this is. I grab the bars of the cage and lean in, nice and close. He steps back, his scaly skin quivering in fear. What do you say? Everybody knows that dragons are pussies. That's why they hide in caves and only come out to breathe fire on sheep and eat cows and shit. That was a mistake. The dragonkin growls, snapping at you and showing his teeth and claws. Tall one is a fool. Dragons are gods, he says. Damn. You're short, I say. But I could fix that. I'll just cut off your head and wear it as a top hat. Then you'd be way taller. No, no, <laughs> please don't do that. Still, I cannot give key. Durgaron will eat me. I think he's close to breaking. I want to reach through the bars and grab the stupid key. You try, but he's incredibly agile. He oh, dodges your clumsy attempt with ease. Then he laughs. This tabletop shit is hard. Try playing solo. The dragonkin swallows the key, pointing at his stomach and then his own butt, laughing at you. Then he... I shove my axe through the cage, right into his stomach. Then I twist it, and then pull it out. His guts and shit start falling everywhere, but I jam my hands inside his open stomach, grabbing the key. Then, in the final moments before he dies, I hold the key up to his face, and then I laugh. Normally, I'd say you failed the challenge, except that was so horrifically amazing. You won. Yeah, go team. Why don't you start unlocking the prisoners? I'm on it. As you free them, the prisoners run away from you in fear. What's next? Ah, je peux vraiment tout faire. Bah, Loot sounds good. Let's go to the training ground. 
Sweet. Upon arriving at the training ground, you are spotted by a heavy set orc who immediately shouts and points. There are a dozen raiders on the training field, all of whom raise their weapons and charge. Okay. So what do we do? I cast Urgle's acid blast. Um, overkill? Bam! You conjure up a wave of acid that washes over the charging orcs. Every raider suddenly starts screaming and writhing in pain. There's a sweet and sour kind of smell as the flesh melts off their bones like warm candle wax. Holy shit. You see why I haven't really needed a partner? The heavy set orc sergeant still remains. He runs at you swinging a massive warhammer. All yours. Okay, let's end this. Fatal cleave. You swing your great axe downward with both hands. The orc blinks, then splits open like a hot dog bun. Fuck yeah! I'm awesome at this game. It's going well. What about the loot? Well, as the training ground is now a roiling pit of acid, eh, it's unlikely any loot survived. Dang. My character raises her axe. You'll pay for ruining all that loot, Elamon. By my honor, I apologize. Here, take this potion as a gift. Thanks, dude. Ah, bon bon. What's next? It's tent time. You enter the tent to find Durgaron, warlord of the raiders of the Black Well, sitting comfortably at his throne. He's a huge red-eyed minotaur, swathed in a fine black cloak, gripping a two-handed sword that's easily six feet long. His laughter bellows. Wah, ha, 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 ha. Your lands and people are already mine. Your deeds here mean nothing. Your kingdom was weak. You are weak. What an asshole. I got this. I cast Zael's cataclysmic cone of fire. The fire fizzles out tout, on en fait, contact. Durgaron laughs again, holding up his right arm to show off his bracer of fire immunity. Shit! All of my battle spells are fire-based. Except for, you know, Acid Blast, which someone used unnecessarily to show off for Chloe. Calamastia? What'll it be? Oh, holy shit! Uh, annihilation strike. That sounds boss as fuck. One? Uh. That's bad, right? Not for me. As you take your first step, you trip on a rock, collapsing onto the ground in a clangy jumble of metal. Your axe swings wildly to the side. Mikey, roll a reflex save. Oh no, three. Your axe strikes Elamon's leg. Um, legs, plural, severing both feet at the ankles. This game is awesome. My feet? Durgaron moves toward the crippled Elmon. Oh, shit. I told you this was my best boss. You didn't tell me my character might die. Durgaron approaches, stomping his bloody hooves. Stomp, stomp, stomp. This is all my fault. Sort of. What should I do? I jump in front of Elamon. Wow. Thanks, Chloe. I mean, thanks, Calamastia. Okay. Durgaron has now turned his attention toward you. Bring it. He charges, thrusting madly with his great sword. Ah, extra maçon. Shit! Oh no. Your attempt to dodge his thrust fails. Durgaron laughs as he impales you on his blade, lifting you high into the air. Seriously? I can't do anything with that stupid bracer. I'm sorry, Chloe. Hey, I chopped your feet off. We're even. You feel your strength draining away as Durgaron lifts you higher into the air. It hurts like hell. What do you do? I bring my axe down onto his arm. 
the one with the fire bracer thingy. Oh, brilliant. You'll have to roll high to hit. You're almost dead. 20. Fuck uh, yes. Uh. You bring your axe down in a wicked chop, severing his arm completely. His bracer of fire immunity clangs to the ground. I cast Gignomi's Fire Strike of Flame. Oh, snap. Lying on the ground, you conjure a flaming spear, which flies from your hands to spear Durgaron in the chest, incinerating him completely from the inside out. Damn, Elamon. Durgaron is defeated, but your wounds were too great. I'm afraid Calamastia is dead. I actually feel sad right now. Better to have died a hero than live as a coward. That was fun. Check out what I drew. Monkey's got serious drawing skills. That's a pas mal. Pas mal du tout. Glad you enjoyed it, Chloe. Yeah. I'll adventure with you anytime. <laughs> we'll see. C'était trop bien. Thanks for the game, nerds. DVD, check. Next stop, chemistry class. Joy. I would sacrifice a goat to Jeremiah Blackwell himself if it meant I'd be leaving here in a month. Eh bien, la suite dans la prochaine VOD.